Good afternoon everyone, and for today's video I'll be showing you how to make a frozen hot chocolate, so let's get to it. I'm going to be showing you how to make a frozen hot chocolate. So what you need is milk or a milk substitute, um, any milk alternative will work. If you want something that's both dairy free and gluten free, Oatly oat milk is the best um, certified one. You can also use a chocolate milk, um, chocolate, uh, milk chocolate solar milk if you prefer, I'm just using regular milk. And I'm using a ready-made hot chocolate mix. This one is a Silly Cal Farms one. But you can use packet. Um, and if you want to be completely dairy-free, you might want to make your own cocoa mix. Just using cocoa powder and sugar. Alright, so in your blender, you're just going to pour about one cup of milk. You could also double or triple this, depending on how many servings you want to do. But since I'm just doing one serving, I'm just going to do the one cup. And for the mix, I'm doing three tablespoons. All right. So that goes into your blender, and you just want to add a cup of ice or some crushed ice, depending on how good your blender works. You might want to use crushed ice. Once the ice is in there, we're just going to seal this up and we're going to get ready to blend. Okay, and once you get that all nice and blended like so, then it's a nice slushy like pour and if you wanted to you could top your chocolate mix with a bit of whipped cream and some chocolate jimmies or some chocolate syrup and as always remember you could adjust this recipe to your taste you could add more cocoa powder as you go along, you could add, like I said, you could sub the plain milk or milk substitute for chocolate milk to make it even extra thicker, add some chocolate syrup, or even add additional flavors if you wanted to. So have fun with this one and enjoy. And until next time, stay well. Goodbye.